Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What happens when the Speaker of the House is removed? When the Speaker of the House is removed, it marks a significant and unprecedented event in U.S. history. The process begins with a motion to vacate the chair, a rarely used procedural tool that allows any member to file a House resolution to remove the Speaker. This motion, if introduced and announced on the House floor, is considered privileged and takes priority over other issues. It requires a majority vote to succeed and oust the Speaker from their leadership post. In the recent case of Kevin McCarthy, the motion to vacate was introduced by Repeser Matt Gates and passed with the support of eight Republicans and all the Democrats present and voting, resulting in McCarthy's removal. Following the removal, the Speaker's position is declared vacant. According to House rules, the Speaker must submit a confidential list to the Clerk of the House naming members who can act as Speaker pro tempore in the event of a vacancy. The first name on this list becomes the Interim Speaker. Rep. Patrick McHenry, a close ally of McCarthy, was named the Temporary Speaker or Speaker pro tempore after McCarthy's removal. As the Interim Speaker, McHenry does not have the full powers of a duly elected Speaker, but is tasked with overseeing the election of a new speaker. The interim speaker's primary responsibility is to facilitate the election of a new speaker. This process can be lengthy as it requires the House to vote as many times as necessary until a candidate receives the majority of the votes from those present and voting. During this period, the House may recess to allow both parties to decide on a path forward and to nominate candidates for the speakership. Several members, including Majority Leader Steve Scalise, Whip Tom Emmer, Repper Kevin Hearn, and Repper Jim Jordan, have been mentioned as potential successors. The election of a new speaker is not bound by a specific timeline, but as a practical matter, the House will likely aim to elect a new speaker quickly to resume legislative business and avoid further delays. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.